Hello, Buzz Girls. My name is Hazelsey, and welcome back to Beltless Factorio. Where last time we made sure we got enough oil so we can have a proper oil set up with cracking all proper ratios 8 to 7 with uh, lubricant here on the side. Uh, which we also have a, a bit to, to spare. And then we also went ahead and added a new plastic plant, which is not yet hooked up with uh, coal, because here in the old one we still have coal, we still have plastic, so let's use that up first. And then we will see what we do with this space. But overall, we are making good progress. We managed to uh, clean out the old green circuits. So now the two new ones are in. We might need a bit more uh, stuff delivered there. Um, so that we are actually producing. I mean, here we have things to spare here as well. Uh, but then also we have two sets for uh, the red circuits. I think we only, yeah, we only have one train to deliver the things. So there we definitely need uh, at least one additional train and I think today we will focus on a new science. We will not manage to get any research done with that science but let's start with adding everything so we can start producing and the easier of the remaining two is the purple science the yellow science yeah we at least once we created all the ingredients processing units flying robot frames and low density structures but to get those in the quantities we need for yellow science we are not quite there yet so let's focus on this one first um, rails should not be that big of an issue electric furnaces i don't think yeah we all have the things and then also for the productivity modules we have it so basically what we need is four new factories one for rail one for furnaces one for productivity modules and one for the science itself so it's not uh, something that we have not done before however i'm thinking maybe we will expand a bit in this area um so uh, we can add some factories up here. We have some more factories here. The one for the electric furnaces. Then one for the rails. And further back we have a productivity modules one. And... Uh, I miscalculated because for rails we need iron sticks so I had to do an iron stick production over here which is actually a uh, working and then of course we have our science production down here 
with the, the two trains set up for delivering the uh, ingredients for the factory and the pickup. However, I also did add a third furnace array because I had the feeling we did not get enough uh, iron through and um, this iron patch is getting smaller and smaller so eventually we will have to think about hooking up a second iron patch especially as with uh, additional furnace arrays um, we want to have as many ore trains as possible so uh, the furnace arrays are constantly uh, have ore to smelt and if i look here uh, i should look at the input there we have one waiting at steel loading and then here for this one we also need steel we need quite a bit of steel so maybe a second furnace array for steel is in order and then we might actually go out here to this large iron patch and add a few more uh, uh, loading stations for iron. So we are fully stocked up because if you see here, we do not have uh, large amounts of, uh, of iron sitting, sitting there. So currently we have three stations that could load iron. And we do have various station that require iron in direct form or indirect form. And then maybe next time we can think about how to improve our train network once again. Because I am going around adding these uh, signals here in the middle and it does help uh, just looking at the waiting stations the queues are not that long anymore. But I'm not 100% positive that uh, this is caused by the added signals or that we just have uh, once again a bit higher consumption than we had in the, in the past. Um, you can see we are producing more iron plates that we are consuming. Uh, but uh, for example the green circuits, the electric circuits, those numbers are almost equal. And we are producing more advanced circuits than we are consuming. But that's probably due to the fact that uh, the whole pipeline here um, with the electric furnace and the uh, productivity module that also need these circuits um, has not yet really powered up. All right, then let's see um, about that steel furnace array that we want to add and the and the additional mine the additional iron field
Up here in the northwest of our brains, we have the new iron field set up with two loading stations. As you have seen, the trains are already using it. And that should help us with getting enough iron for all our needs. Um, we will have to, to have a, an eye on it. And probably also uh, on the copper. Copper, I think, is currently not yet that big of a problem. We do have... Uh, actually, hmm. we have not yet connected uh, all the stations with wiring, so these two stations do not count to the to the overall uh, copper limit. But basically we need copper here for uh, wires. Wires go into uh, circuits. And then I think we also need a bit of copper in the science pipeline um, for red science. Red science, there. Uh, and then here for the red ammunition we also need copper but that's it for today we have expanded our base quite a bit and hopefully we will some when see uh, these stations up here turn white because being red means nothing delivered i have no goods nothing to load uh, but next time we will try to figure out how we can further improve our network and uh, give the purple signs a chance to uh, catch up so we can uh, put purple science train in and do some more research but that's it for today i hope you enjoyed it if you did please consider leaving a like uh, if you don't want to miss the next episode do subscribe and uh, then i will see you for sure in the next one goodbye